Apple Watch Series 2 Nike Edition is the second generation of Apple Watches released just over two years ago. This is the special box in which it came. The rest of the Apple Watches came in a white color box. This is the Apple Watch Nike Edition made for athletes. This is what was contained in the box when I bought it. It reads, designed for athletes by Apple and Nike. Here is the box which came with the watch. It contains an instruction sheet, a disclaimer, a watch use guide and an extra band. This band is for those who have a little larger wrist. Now, the instruction sheet is quite easy to understand. They have nice graphics and these graphics can show you how to use a watch if you have never used the Apple Watch before. Now, the Apple Watch used to come in two different sizes. This is a 38mm, you also get a 42mm watch. The difference is in the size of this watch face. You can put a passcode over here, it's a 4 digit passcode and this is the home screen on the Apple Watch. Now the Apple Watch has a really good battery life. You can get full 2 days when you use the Apple Watch heavily. If you try to use the Apple Watch by conserving a lot of power, I get around two and a half days of use. The Apple Watch comes in many different types. When I purchased this, I had an option of an aluminium, a stainless steel and a ceramic. Now, the price differs. I spent $482 for this version. This was the Apple Watch aluminium grade. It has an aluminium on the front, but at the back it is ceramic. The higher up one is a stainless steel one that is a bit more expensive, around $600 and the other one close to around $900 to $1000 that came with an entire ceramic finish. So now the Apple Watch Series 2 can do a lot of different things. First of all, for those who wear their watch on the right hand or those who are left handers, you can easily change the orientation of this watch so that you can wear it on your right hand. And if you want, you can design how you would like the digital crown. The digital crown is this rotational part of the Apple Watch. It can be used to change the timing, call as time travel, so you can go forward in time or backwards in time to see what events you have scheduled. The Apple Watch can also store photos. It has around 8 GB of memory, but 2 GB of memory is reserved for the software. The Apple Watch also has a taptic engine. This engine can tap you and provide a small to a prominent vibrational feedback to your wrist. It also has a meditational app known as Breathe. You can change how many times a minute or within a few minutes do you want Apple Watch to tap you. The Breathe app has seven breaths per minute. You can increase the number of breaths you take. So for a minute it's seven breaths, for two minutes it's 14 breaths, for three minutes it's 21 breaths and for five minutes that's the highest, it is 35 breaths. During the time that you breathe, there is a nice animation that increases and decreases in size to mimic the breaths that you take. In the background, as the Apple Watch taps you to inhale and exhale, it records your heartbeat. And at the end, you will get your heartbeat reading. There is also an Apple Watch Heart app. This Heart app measures your heart activity every so often and it also has the resting rate as well as your walking average rate. Subsequent to the release of the Apple Watch Series 2, Apple still supports this watch and has released a series of updates. These updates are to ensure that the Apple Watch works perfectly and also gets the latest features. Some of which are the heart rate features. You get a lowest heart rate monitor notification and the highest heart rate notification. If you are running or your heart rate suddenly spikes, the Apple Watch will notify you. When your heart rate is being monitored, there are two green LEDs which shine from the back of the Apple Watch. This monitors the blood flow and helps your Apple Watch understand 
what is your pulse rate or your heart rate now there are many watch faces on apple watch watch faces are how you see the apple watch when you wear the apple watch when you are not using it facing you the screen remains off when you raise the watch to see it the screen turns on this is so that you conserve the battery life when you turn it back again the screen turns off the apple watch also has a gps monitor this is so when you use the fitness or workout app it can track how many miles or kilometers you travel it can also keep a tab on how many calories you burn the apple watch connects to your ios device via its inbuilt bluetooth the wi-fi can be used to connect to your wireless router but for that you need to connect the apple watch to your iphone first so that the credentials of your wi-fi are shared with the apple watch for subsequent connection now with the latest apple watch update you get some nice feature called walkie talkie in this you need another person with an apple watch to speak you can even respond to email messages you get even whatsapp messages apps like messenger can be installed on the apple watch but other apps such as whatsapp cannot be installed because whatsapp does not have an app but if you get a notification from a person who sends you a whatsapp message you have the ability to respond right then and there using something known as scribble where you can take your finger and actually mark out the letters that's a bit tedious or you can use the inbuilt microphone and talk to your apple watch there are other kinds of features like nfc now if you are in countries that support apple pay like the united states canada united kingdom you just have to take your apple watch close to a card reader and it can automatically deduct the amount you have in apple pay and make your purchase there are other kinds of fitness trackers you can install but the basic ones are workout that uses your inbuilt gps this can track your calories and it can also tell you how many footsteps you have and activity this is a very basic app it has move exercise stand so this will tell you when you have stood when you have moved a lot that accounts for exercising your movement is your normal walking getting up sitting down it also shows your total steps and the total distance from feet to miles or it depends in which country you live it will show you from feet to kilometers apple watch series 2 nike edition can also store a bunch of music now since there is no headphone jack the apple watch can connect to your wireless bluetooth device and you can play it back without the need of an iphone now you can also control taking a picture on the iphone with this this acts like a remote control for your camera there are many other third-party apps that you can use now to install third-party apps you have to pair or connect your apple watch with your iphone go to the apple watch app store and search for the app that you want to download the apps which i use are marriott xc converter hilton microsoft outlook express cnn and a bunch of other apps so what is the difference between apple watch nike edition versus the other apple watches for starters you get this special band when you buy the apple watch nike edition which is still true today with the apple watch series 4 secondly you get a nice nike edition face that is the face which you get when you purchase the apple watch you can change faces on the apple watch series 2 or any other apple watch and there is also a multitasking feature that you can quickly swipe through and switch apps there are multiple other watch faces which have been added with subsequent updates such as the siri watch face the toy story watch face and the astronomy watch face the apple watch series 2 has a control center much like the iphone and you can control how you see the icons in it since the apple watch is water resistant you can tap on the water feature and you can turn the digital crown to unlock and eject water this is the sound when you do so
This sound will eject any kind of water that enters into the openings of the speaker or the microphone. The Apple Watch, much like the iPhone, has a side button. When you keep it pressed, you get the option to power off or you can invoke emergency SOS. This emergency SOS, much like the iPhone, will call all your emergency contacts and notify them in case of an emergency and it will even notify the emergency services in your area. Overall, the Apple Watch is a great companion for athletes and tech savvy enthusiasts, but also it is a great safety feature for those who are driving and need to respond to calls or sometimes occasionally see notifications without picking up your iPhone every time. So this is the review of the Apple Watch two years on and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit the like button comment, subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications. Thank you for watching.